Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for Blitzy today and we're going to create this canvas using some acrylic paints and a Donna Downey Studio stencil. So here's the supplies that we're going to need to get started. This is the Donna Downey Signature Stencils and this one is called Brushes. It's an 8x8 stencil and I'm going to use that for this canvas. I'm also going to be using some uh, Dream Weaver stencils, matte black embossing paste, and some acrylic paints in um, some yellows, greens, blues, and pinks. And um, I have a 12 by 12 stretched canvas that I'm going to create this um, piece on. So I'm always going to start by priming my canvas with some Liquitex white gesso and I know these canvases are already primed but um, just because this is the gesso that I am familiar with and that I use I always prime my surface with this um, when I'm getting ready to get started. So I'm just putting a very light coat with uh, my paintbrush and I will let that set aside and dry. And I put my stencil on the canvas kind of trying to figure out where I want to have the paintbrushes because when I saw these paintbrushes I knew in my mind I wanted to create this bright beautiful canvas uh, with lots of colors and paint kind of dripping off of the page so I wanted to know where I wanted to start the paint um, where the brushes kind of were going to uh, lay and on the canvas and so that way I would know where I wanted to put my paints and then I just put a drop of paint on them on the canvas directly and I will move it around with my fingers and then I'm going to spray it quite generously with some water and this is going to very um, make the paint a lot more liquid than it normally would and it's going to create the drips that I wanted because I really wanted these colors to blend and drip towards the bottom of the canvas and just create this kind of um, smush of colors just blending all into each other. So when I saw this stencil I knew exactly what I wanted to use it for which is not usually something that happens for me but um, I don't know these paintbrushes were just so cool and um, I just had this vision in my head and um, couldn't wait to get started on it. So it's really easy to do. So I did the purple and the pink or the blue and the pink first and um, kind of let those drip into place and dry. I used a heat tool to dry it because I was impatient and I wanted to move on to the green and the yellow. But if I wouldn't have dried that um, green uh, or that blue before mixing in the green, it, I don't know, it would still be pretty but I just wanted to make sure that I wouldn't get some weird kind of mixes. So um, I did dry it with a heat tool and I just kept kind of manipulating it with my fingers and adding some more paint and some more water and I would you know kind of place the stencil on top and see am I in the right spot? Do I need to move it? And do I need more color? And so I felt that the green wasn't green enough so I brought in some Dilutions paints in Fresh Lime and I added that onto the green area and then I just spritzed more water and then um, after that dried, I thought that the colors, um, the, the pink and the blue that I used kind of dried kind of funky when I used the heat tool on it. So I added some more paint on top and some more water to let it drip a little bit more. And then um, it was getting kind of um, too much um, at the bottom. It was just blending way too much. I wasn't getting some nice drips. It was just kind of like ugh, kind of becoming a mess. So I was kind of freaking out. So I took a a paper towel and just kind of soaked up some of that um, extra paint and then you can see I just come in with more paint and add some more water and let it drip again and kind of try to move it with my fingers first to, to help it into the areas that I did want dripping and then I was happy with it. I let it set us overnight because I didn't like the way that it looked when I would kind of force it to dry with the heat tool. So I did let the colors um, ultimately dry overnight and I was a lot happier with that, um, letting it dry naturally. And then I wanted to bring in some white splatter so I used the Dilutions ink sprays in white linen and I just took it out of the bottle and kind of um, 
splattered it along the colored um, parts where the paint is and I really liked that effect. So I added the stencil where I wanted it on my canvas and I um, taped it down securely with some masking tape. I just didn't want it to move because of how intricate this stencil is. I kind of have a tendency to be rough with what I'm stenciling and I wanted to make sure that it would just stay in, in the spot. So I added that um, masking tape onto the edges just so that it would stay in place. And you can see it kind of lifts up sometimes because of the embossing paste, this black embossing paste, you know, it's pretty sticky. And so I'm glad that I had that there. So now I'm going to lift it up and reveal the pattern underneath, which is just the best part of this whole process. And I was super happy with the way that it turned out. There's a lot of texture. It's pretty thick. And um, yeah, I was, I was really trying to work with this white space. I wanted to add more, but I didn't know what. And so I decided that I would add a stamp and just call it done. So because it is a um, stretched canvas, it, it's very um, uh, loose in the middle. And I didn't want to have any mistakes with my stamping. So I put a stamping block underneath and it fit perfectly so that I would have a nice hard surface to stamp on. So this stamp says she colored her thoughts with only the brightest hues. It's a unity stamp also by Donna Downey. She designed this stamp as well. So I just went really well with this whole piece and I was really happy with that. Um, when I was done with that I set it aside and I kept looking at it and thought it just needed something a little bit more and another extra pop of white. So I brought out my Imagine Crafts um, irresistible Pico embellisher and wedding dress and I started at the top even though it's going to be white on white at that top until we get to the paint the color paint at the bottom and I don't know I just felt that I wanted that continuity and you could see that it's you know brightens um, a lot once you get to the paint and um, I just put it along the left side of each paintbrush and it just gives it kind of like a shadow and really makes it makes those paint brushes pop a little bit more. The black was just a little bit too flat for me against the um, paint at the bottom and I think this just added the perfect touch to my canvas. So that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed um, my process today and how you can create fun, colorful canvases on your own. Um, I love using stencils when I'm um, doing projects like this. There's so many different designs and so many different companies that you can use. Uh, you know, whatever inspires you. Just put some paints on your canvas and let it kind of all mix together. Let some drips fall and you can use any um, pattern or any shape of a stencil in black. Um, embossing paste and really have it pop against that color. So I think that pretty much finishes up my canvas today and I hope that I've um, given you kind of a new way to look at your stencils and also to get out those big canvases because I know they kind of intimidate me and I don't know quite what to use them for a lot of times and so this is a 12 by 12 and I'm really happy I have this on my wall it's so bright it's so pretty it reminds me um, to just keep doing what I love and sharing that with all of you. So thanks again for watching this video and for stopping by today. And again, um, check out the Blitzy site for these products and more inspiration.